this is Drew with the Daniels Ag Services with your morning report. Great markets all finished up higher last week with wheat leading the way to the upside. All started off slightly lower this morning. We've got the latest USDA WASDE report out at 11 a.m. Central. So let's take another quick look, quick look at uh, some of the estimates here. We'll grab our trusty whiteboard. All right, so these are the same things we went over Friday, but we're going to go over them again here for you. In the black is the estimates for the report. In the blue is what we actually got in February. So U.S. ending stocks for corn are expected to come in at 1.488 billion bushels. The, that's compared to the February number of 1.481. Um, and the February number is what we got from the USDA in February. Um, beans are expected to come in at 141 million bushels versus 150 in February. So if you've been following the Wilkins Ag Wire, uh, or grain analyst at all, you know that that's not much of a surprise. We haven't seen a lot of the cancellations that we thought we were going to see out of China. Uh, we didn't get anything this morning as far as cancellations or sales in the bean market. Um, so the uh, the ending stock is expected to come down due to that. And then also we take a look at wheat here. Ending stocks are expected to come in at 570 million metric tons. Uh, or sorry, 570 million bushels versus 558 uh, million bushels in February. Now we're going to take a look at Brazil production versus uh, February. Uh, Brazil corn production is expected to come in at 69.03 uh, million metric tons versus the estimate of 70 million metric tons in February. And beans are expected to come in 88.14 million metric tons versus 90 in February. So if you've been following, you're not surprised to see these numbers lower due to the weather issues they've had uh, for the past month, month and a half over there in uh, Brazil. Then Argentina, not much change from the previous estimate. Uh, corn expected to come in at 23.25 million metric tons versus 24 in uh, February. And then bean production expected to come in at 53.5 uh, million metric tons versus 54 in uh, February. So that covers uh, a few of the estimates. Obviously, there's some world ending stock numbers that we can't fit on the whiteboard there. Um, if you want to check out, head over to grainanalyst.com. They'll be below the video in the daily report. I'll have a table posted for you that way you can take a look at it there. Uh, that's all we've got for this morning. I will be back after the uh, WASD report has come out and the trades had a bit to digest it and see how the market's trading afterwards. We'll come out with another video for you to go over it, let you know what happened, how the trade's reacting, and what to expect moving forward. So if you have any questions before the report, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you later this afternoon. This material is conveyed as a solicitation for entering into a derivatives transaction. This material has been prepared by a Daniels Ag Services broker who provides research market commentary and trade recommendations as part of his or her solicitation for accounts and solicitation for trades. Daniels Ag Services, its principals, brokers, and employees may trade in derivatives for their own accounts or for the accounts of others. Due to various factors, such as risk tolerance, margin requirements, trading objectives, short-term versus long-term strategies, technical versus fundamental market analysis, and other factors, such trading may result in the initiation or liquidation of positions that are different from or contrary to the opinions and recommendations contained therein. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future performance. The risk of loss in trading futures contracts or commodity options can be substantial, and therefore, investors should understand the risks involved in taking leveraged positions and must assume responsibility for the risks associated with such investments and for their results. You should carefully consider whether such trading is suitable for you in light of your circumstances and financial resources. You should read the risk disclosure accessed at www.danielsagservices.com. Daniels Ag Services is not affiliated with, nor does it endorse any trading system, newsletter, or similar service. Daniels Ag Services does not guarantee or verify any performance claims made by such systems or services.